believe in a living wage, a affordable housing, and um and the right to have affordable means, especially in um utilities and amenities. Well, I don't know if groceries are amenities. I, I maybe I'm not using that word right. But I mean the basic necessities of living. And a few amenities. Yeah, you know, a few little creature comforts aren't so bad either. You know, beyond living just hand to mouth. I think that's right. Absolutely right. I find that the idea of guaranteed um, labor, or not just labor, guaranteed employment is kind of a trade-off. I'm for workfare, but workfare has to make sense and it has to cost less than just supplementing someone. You know, there's a whole issue of entitlement and empowerment and the bottom line is economics has to make sense. It can't just be a demand side issue. If I'm using supply and demand side issue correctly. It can't just be a labor issue. Um, so, I, I would say there has to be a balance there. I don't see any reason we couldn't create odd jobs, but we can't undermine people who would be getting paid a normal wage for those jobs. That's a, that's a, iffy trade-off. You have to create the best market you can, I think, but you can only supply the best means you can. You have to treat the condition, not the symptom. And there'll still be a safety net but there has to be more of an incentive to get out of that entitlement than there is to create busy work. If you see what I'm trying to say, you, you can't just create a McJob for everyone because you might as well just give them welfare. And... Either one has a bad trade-off. We need a bridge, is what we need. And that's the kind of productivity stimulus that will help most everyone who can and will want to get ahead by working. If we can create economic incentive by having it more conductive, to actually be uh, enterprising and have incentive, then we have achieved our goal. I think. However, that might be achieved. I have some ideas, but I'd have to go into this whole thing and I can get to that. I've done that in a lot of my videos, so, you know, you can see a lot of that there. Okay. Um, yeah, basically labor rights. Yeah, I agree. You know, um, I'm all for living the Jetsons life, you know. A uh, 25-hour week will get you full benefits and, you know, and a high standard of living beyond the minimum standard of living, you know, because naturally, I think we want a society, ideally, or at least 
closer to ideals we can get where there's work, play, study, and socializing, you know, and sleep. You know, I, I like the idea of a fun society, you know. And yet it has to be balanced with the practicality. I, but labor rights, yes, labor rights, I agree. 